क्वेश्चन नंबर 96 नेट गेन ऑफ एटीपी इन अल्कोहलिक एंड लैक्टिक एसिड फर्मेंटेशन इज इट इज मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन दैट इन अल्कोहलिक एंड लैक्टिक एसिड फर्मेंटेशन द नेट गेन ऑफ एटीपी इज टू मॉलिक्यूल्स सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर 2 Let's move to the next question. Question number ninety-seven. All of the following steps of citric acid cycle are catalyzed by enzymes present in the matrix of mitochondria, except citric acid cycle is Krebs cycle, and all enzymes for the Krebs cycle are present in the matrix of the mitochondria because Krebs cycle takes place in the matrix of the mitochondria. But the enzyme succinate dehydrogenase. which is called sdh enzyme it is found attached to the inner mitochondrial membrane succinate dehydrogenase catalyzes the reaction which converts succinic acid into fumaric acid so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 question number 98 what is the total number of atp molecules produced in citric acid cycle during the complete oxidation of one glucose molecule one glucose molecule gives you two molecules of pyruvic acid which in turn produces two molecules of acetyl coenzyme a this acetyl coenzyme a enters the krebs cycle where this produces 12 atp after complete oxidation so if one acetyl coenzyme a gives you 12 atp molecules on complete oxidation then two acetyl coenzyme a molecules will give you 12 into 2 that is 24 atp molecules after complete oxidation of it so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question question number 99 complex fourth of ets in mitochondria is there are many complexes in mitochondria named as complex 1 2 3 4 and you can say oxygen as the complex fifth now this complex four is the cytochrome c oxidase containing cytochrome a a3 and two copper centers so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 Let's move to the next question. Question number hundred: The efficiency of aerobic respiration if one glucose molecule is used as substrate is. Although this question is easy because you can remember the efficiency of aerobic respiration, but how do you calculate it? One ATP gives you approximately thirty-four kilojoule per mole energy. One glucose produces thirty-eight. ATPs. So from one glucose molecule, you are getting thirty-four into thirty-eight. That is one two nine two kilojoule per mole of energy. This is the observed energy which you get. But in actually, one glucose molecule stores two eight seven zero kilojoule per mole of energy. so this is stored amount of energy in one glucose molecule so what is the efficiency the efficiency will be 1292 upon 2870 into 100 that is approximately 45% so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question 